Hello everyone, this is the video presentation for the assignment 2. And here is the list of the members. This is our infographic. Let's continue to our next presenter. Hi, I'm Elisa Ongyani and my matrix number 278079. Today, I will present about what is rights. Threats is employee wish to negotiate with their employer and it is an important tool for a group of employees for leaving their jobs to put pressure on their employer to accept their demands. Workers to be on strikes when they stop working in a specific sector collectively. Before a strike or other method of industrial action may take place, an official which is lawful trade union ballot must be held. This secret ballot is a member vote that generally asks workers whether they want to take action or not. Until a vote was counted and a plan of action has been determined. Some example reasons for causes strikes such as disappointment with company's policies, calculation with wages and incentive, wrongful termination or dismissal of staff and also working hours and rest periods. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Huang Xina, matching number 2773314. Now, I would like to present log out. Lockout is a situation in which the employer closes the workplace and prevents workers from entering the premise until the workers accept the employer's terms or conditions of employment. Alternatively, the employers can take a take step to fight a strike by keeping the firm operating either by placing placing managerial of non-union employees in the strikers shrek, job or by hiring replacement worker according to section 22 of industrial dispute art provide that no employers carry on any public utility service shall lock out any of his workmen the first one is without giving to them notice of lockout provide within six weeks before locking out. Within for the second one is within 14 days of giving such notice. The third one is before the expire of the date of lockout specified in any such notice. The last one is during the pendency of any conciliations proceeding before a uh, conciliation officers and seven days after the conclusion of such proceeding. In section 26 2 of industry dispute are defined the penalty of the lockouts. Employers who illegal lockouts shall be punished by imprisonment that may be up to one month of a fine of 1,000 ringgit or above. That's all of mine. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Siti Mira Binti Ishamin. My metric number is 280057. Today, I would like to present about uh, pickets. Okay, uh, the first point I got here is uh, picket is intent to provide uh, practical guidance on picketing in support of any protected strike and uh, the purpose of pickets is uh, to peacefully encourage non-strike employees and members of the public to support strikers involved in a protected strike and pickets is recognized under section 69 of the labor relation act number 66 1995 tries to implement this right in the case of a picket in support of a protected strike and the general right uh, a person who takes part in a picket protected in terms of this act uh, does not commit a delict or a breach of contract and the specific condition is uh, it must be held distance from a public access point or living accommodation on business ground and the last one I got here is uh, the rule Hi everyone, my name is Tan Hua Yu and my normal metric is 281232 and today, I am going to present about the intimidating in industrial action. From here, we can see this is the part of the infographic that made by our team member. 
and the intimidating in here have bring the meanings of force or superior power that may be used to exploit the employee or employer. From here, we can know that both of the employee and employer have involved in the intimidation activities. This is because the intimidation activities are more to the anti-social behavior. And intimidations also have the same meaning with the bullying, harassment, violence, and so on. Before continue to the industrial action, the intimidations also state in IRA. The IRA section 39 states that any person who is in furtherance of a trade dispute and with a view to comply any other person to abstain from doing or to do any act which such other person have a right, legal right, to do or abstain from doing wrongfully and without legal authority. From here we can see the IRA also have the protection to the employee and employer in the workplace. Let's continue to the industrial action. From here, the industrial action have been protects to the employee or employer to support the advance or of their claim during the bargaining in the relation of the proposed enterprise agreement. And that's all from me. Thank you. In the case of Hashan Shah Enterprise, Sundram Bahad versus the Nations Unions of Hotel Bar and Restaurants. The court made the following statements. In this country, picketing, straight and lockout are allowed, but within the confines of Part 9 of IRA, Industrial Relations Act 1967, no unions will be picketing or straight actions straight away, without negotiating having first entry into what the union has done in this case in the form of negotiations and picketing appear well within the law and cannot be deemed as duress if the law and the court frown upon such lawful actions that will be the day when democracy begins to crumble that's all from us thanks for watching